Once you're happy with your website, I highly recommend that you make a copy of your latest version and then just keep working on the, the master. So this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at what we've created so far on the website. I'm just going to scroll through here and look things over. Of course, there's some copy changes that I'm going to need to make. And what we're going to focus on at this point of the game is the form. And the form is already created for you. So you just simply go to the plus sign on the upper left side, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you're going to see the Got Clicks DIY form. Go ahead and put that into place. And just so you can see what it's all going to look like. And now we're going to customize this form so it's perfect for the maker station. So let's get busy with that. So go ahead and save. And now I'm going to go to Forms. So Forms is the blue button on the left-hand side. I'm going to choose the GotClix DIY form. That's going to be the default form in your uh, package as well. And so now let's kind of go over each one of these things. There's a setting wheel that you'll want to click on for each of these. And I want to change the title. I'm going to give you a gotcha in this. If you delete this whole thing, the header formatting will disappear. So I'll leave at least one letter in there. It can be anything you want, but just don't delete the whole thing. And then I'm just going to change some of the text in here. And I don't need that open right now. That's the purchase settings. I'll do that later. And scroll down just a touch and click on save. And that's all you really need to do here. So this is the get started tab. You'll see that there are tabs at the top. You can have this as a single page form or you can turn it into a multi-page. And I want to stick with the multi-page. You can also rename this form. So I'm going to call it Maker Station Sign Up Form. And there's a couple of options in here. You can overwrite the existing form, which is the Got Clicks DIY, or you can just save it as a new version. I thought about overwriting it, but then the more I was thinking about it, the more I'm like, mm, maybe I better save it as a new version so that I still have the Got Clicks DIY version in case I forget something and I want to go back and look at what the master looks like, just like you did with the websites. The same thing with the form. And you have the uh, first name, last name, all of the typical information in here, phone number, email. Now, this is where it's going to be interesting later on when I start to show you the flows in, and the sales funnels in here. So I'm going to change this out because I want it to reflect what the maker station does. And so I want to ask them, what kind of party do you want? And how many are at the party? So is it 4 to 7? Is it 8 to 10? Is it going to be 10 plus? Is this a festival we're talking about? So that's very important because the price point is determined by the number of people that attend one of the Maker Station parties. And then I like this, so I'm just going to copy it. And then I paste the form beneath. And then I hit the wheel and I'm going to edit this. And I'm going to ask the next logical question with this are the ages of the participants. Because there's a whole different party for a seven year old to a 21 year old. Believe me. <laughs> so I'm just putting the ages in here and I'm noticing, you know, I've got an 18 to 20 and I want to do a 21 plus. So how do you do that? Well, there's the blue button on the very bottom. Just tap that to add another field. And then I've got 21 plus. Scroll down lower. You're going to hit save in the upper right corner so that you can save the changes you've made. I also keep everything lowercase under the value. And I didn't use a dash. I just typed out 2TO for that. And I'm going to go in here and put in another one of these. Just simply you can copy it. And don't hit the X because you'll delete it. And then just hit the uh, paste that's right there.
And here I'm asking, what kind of party is it that you want to do? Is this going to be a birthday party? Is it a make and take? Is it a make and sip? And is this going to be for a wedding? Are you doing uh, engagement party centerpieces? That sort of thing. So, and then I like to have the make and take a little higher. So you can move these around by just clicking and dragging the left hand side. And you can move these in any order you want. And then again, hit save. And now I'm going to move into the next page here. Now you'll notice on the default, it has the purchase. I'm not quite ready for this. So I'm just simply going to um, change this to something a little different. And I'm recognizing I don't want the purchase here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in some of the other fields that I'm looking for because I want more information about the guest of honor. So I'm going to put that information here, get that all in place. And now I want to know the date of events. So this is kind of putting the rubber to the asphalt here. And I'm going to select more than one date and time for them so that uh, I have a choice. When this form comes in, I can look at my calendar and see if I can accommodate them. And yes, I could use the calendar that is in Got, uh, Got Clicks Flow. I thought about doing that, but I decided against it. I thought in this early stage, I want to have a few dates and times that the uh that the partier wants to throw at me first, and then I can get in touch with them. I might throw them a text. I might send them an email. So that's how I think this will work better for this particular business. Of course, your business is going to be different depending upon what you want to do. And now I want to know the address of the party. So I just simply click and drag. It's so easy. This is one of the easiest forms I've come across. So I think this is where Got Clicks Flow really shines. And I'm pretty happy with how that's coming out. I want to add a page because I want to have an agreement of some sort so that we're all on the same page of, you know, what what we're doing, what the expectation is. I always come in here and save after each tab just because it would be a bummer to lose all of my work. So again, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to name this page the agreement. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. It's party atmosphere. So I'm looking at the party atmosphere here, and I want to know, do they want to have the bus? Do they want the pink tent? Or am I going to their venue? So I'm just using radio buttons for this. Same principle of what we've used earlier. And the value is all lowercase. And if I wanted to add another um, radio button, again, you just hit add on that blue button at the bottom. And this is where I'm going to put the agreement in. I'm just copying and pasting the agreement here. And I can also have a signature on here too so that they can sign right away. And once this is finalized and, you know, payments and stuff, I will also send them another contract um, that they can physically sign as well. So 
really nice that you can put all this information in here. And so this is looking really great. Uh, the last piece, of course, is accepting a payment. And I haven't set up these parties yet as products, and that is going to be the uh, next thing that I do. So I'm just going to name this last tab as Payment. Click Save. Go on the left-hand side. I'm going to look at my Advanced field, and I will look for the Purchase. Click and drag that over here. And it's not going to let you put really anything in because I don't have any products that I've set up yet. So I'm going to tap the wheel and it will give you an explanation. When you go into um, Config and Products, this yellow button comes up saying, hey, you haven't set anything up yet. So that's what I'm going to work on next is putting my products in. And then this form will be ready to go and I'll be able to start accepting parties.